Hey guys, welcome back. We are playing Sarath today against the Yasuo. Sarath is really fun to play because of his super high range and in this matchup Yasuo is only able to use his win wall against our E. He's not able to block out anything else, uh, he can dash around and dodge. Our build is because everything we have is skill shot based. So we can push the first few waves but otherwise we're just looking to stay back and just farm with the abilities, we have super long range, so we do not want to be in melee range ever. If we get caught in melee range once Yasuo has like 2 or 3 items, then we are dead, even if we have a flash up. We just have to abuse that super long range, stay back if possible. And if you can get an auto attack off on Yasuo once your passive is up, then you're gonna regen a lot of mana. So try to do that if it's safe. Just have to make sure he's not trying to freeze this wave and he is pushing so that's great. It starts becoming harder once he gets level 3, he has his wind wall up and he can dodge our only hard CC ability on our E so if possible we want to try to bait it out, so once he is in super close range you can try to auto attack him quite a bit because it looks like you're going to use your E and then you can try to bait out his wind wall and then you can use your stun afterwards. Got a lot of mana back right there. Do get a lot more back or oh, rip that cannon minion. You get a lot more back one when you auto attack an enemy champion. His fin wall is out. He's not able to predict your E, he has to guess uh, because he can't really see the difference between auto attack and using that E in melee range. So you should be able to bait out his win wall most of the time. Missing quite a bit of skill shots, but that is to be expected in this matchup and also if you play against assassins. They are super mobile, so it is very hard to hit them. We just want to take out his passive shield. Um, if he's walking up, then just take it out with an auto attack. And you also get that free pass off, so that's super worth it. I'm never trying to aim my Q on top of him. I'm trying to aim it towards the direction I think he will be running towards. So trying to aim it in advance. So I try to hit him when he tries to dodge. And that's how you want to play Sarath and skills your champs in general. I like to use teleport in this matchup or in most matchups when you play Sarath because uh, it gives you that free base. So you don't have to um, risk a lot. If you're running low on mana or something or low on HP then you don't risk having to stay in lane for two waves. You can just recall and teleport back so that gives you a really safe laning phase actually. Only thing though is that when Phil Sticks gets level 6 then um, or when CC champions in general get level 6, then you're pretty vulnerable to CC. The good thing is that when he does that EQ, then he just keeps pushing in the way. Oh, I had to flash out here because, um, I think I would die if I get uh, hit by that hook right there, so 
And just recall, we have enough for the last chapter. So that's what is really nice about having teleport is that you can stay in lane for longer. And we just got last chapter off the first base, so that is great. As a Cillian top lane, that's pretty interesting. Um, must be really infuriating to play against uh, when you are playing a melee champ. I think Wukong should be fine though, because he has the dashes. Yes, that can be very tilting to play against. If you play a melee champion, uh, that is super immobile. Oh man, I was not. I did not have enough range on my ultimate. If that was uh, the two ultimate, then that would have been a kill for sure. Now that we have the lost chapter, we can just spam our abilities on the wave and then we try to stall it out. This champion is absolutely ridiculous in the late game, guys. Your ultimate alone is enough to kill an ADC from 100 to 0. I was super patient guys, I did not use my E, I saved it until we got the guaranteed CC off from Sejuani and then I used it. Because he's gonna dash around so it's super easy for him to dodge everything so I just waited. Let Sejuani do her thing and then I followed up. So if your teammate has some kind of guaranteed CC then just wait, let them use it first and then you can follow up so you chain CC. And you get that free kill. I got the dragon as well, so it's going super well this game. I'm just gonna get more AP instead of uh, boots. Or mobility, because um, um, it's going to be a lot easier for you to wave clear. Since you have um, uh, enough damage. And that's really important in these matchups, because you never want to walk up too far and you also don't want to take too much time clearing out the waves because it will just give them time to roam and invade your jungler or roam bot lane or something Oh man, yeah that's the problem uh, when you don't have cleanse, but I really um, hate going cleanse against on pretty much every single champion in the mid lane because it gives you such an awful landing phase. We just have to stay back now because Phil, uh, Phil Sticks has his ultimate so we need some better vision and then we just have K at the tower. I don't have enough range on my ultimate so can't really go for anything there. Oh man, okay, she had that dash up. Sucks a bit. I think. Oh, she's backing off. Okay, so this brush is watered, so we can just sit back to mid. Oh, that's a really nice play by the Sejuani. Solo killed the Yasuo. She was also really patient with that ultimate, so that's great. That's. How he wants to play it against the Yasuo or any other high mobile champion. I 
I had to make sure this isn't loaded because I don't know if Phil Six to use this ultimate so he could just hop over. Um, let's see. Oh, he got the kill. Okay, that's fine though. We still got a kill back, so we will take that. Oh, that's a very fit uh, Cillian. He's probably a one trick though. Otherwise, I don't see why he would ever play that upside. I don't have my ultimate up. We still need a bit more AP. Once we have that, then we're gonna one shot the backline minions. I do have the ultimate up. We hit everything, so it's up to Sajuani. Oh, that was really nice. This uh, Sajuani is pretty good. That's awesome. We got the assist as well. We have enough for the Ludens Timber, so we can recall. This is probably the one you want to be buying most of the time uh, when you play against a squishy team. Like I'm playing this right now, the only tanky champion they have is Nautilus. Everyone else is squishy. And I also like the mobility it gives, so you become a bit better at kiting as well. And gang bot side. Nice. I saved my ability so I could get the kill this time. Because um, even though we are getting the kills, they are not. All of the kills are not going to the carries. Um, if possible, you want to let me embarrass or we can't get the kills. Oh, Cillian Ultimate, that's so unfortunate. Nice, that is so insanely good for us. Wukong is so broken in teamfights because he has that double knockup on Assault. I don't know why they have not changed that yet because it is so OP, but that actually helped us out a lot. Well, now Wukong is back in the game as well because he was getting pretty hard stomped topside, so that's great. I got the anti-healing here because they do have a decent amount of healing, they have fill stakes, they also have Yasuo who's going shield bow. And same thing for Samira, so actually I think anti-healing is really really good this game. In this meta it's probably something you can go for most of the time because there is so much healing anyway, so you're not really losing out on anything when you go for Morello. Nice, Sajani is just popping off. I'm gonna take that kill. There we go, so I'm also super fit right now. I'm just gonna let her take the big raptor, we can go back to the lane. We don't really have that much damage right now because we went for... Oblivion Orb, if we went for Horizon Focus or Ravnus Death Cap guys, then we're gonna one shot people with a single combo. I need to watch out for Phil Sticks. Look at that damage. Nice, hit him with that last shot. 
can also be hard to hit Selim because he has that um, speed buff. I think Phil Six is around here. Oh, he definitely was. Okay. They are always looking for that play when they have their ultimate up. FK in a brush and then they try to get past the wall with the ultimate. And if he gets the CC on me then I'm gonna die so... Have to watch out. I have to be extra careful because I don't have a uh, cleanse. Okay, he used his ultimate bot side, so now we can play a bit more up front because we don't have to be as careful anymore, so that's fine. We do have teleport up, so we can recall whenever we want to. We have enough for the Morel Nomicon. That's gonna mess up Yasuo, Phil Sticks, and Samira so hard. So we can go ahead and recall. They already have the shield bow, both of them, so. This is such a good buy, this early on in the game. Alright, got the assist for Samira. I also got the assist for Nautilus, that's awesome. Just have to keep checking for Villastakes. His ultimate might be up right now, so that's why I'm playing it as safe as possible. I think he's up here somewhere. Oh, he definitely is. I knew it. That's why I wanted this brush here, because he really wants to use his ultimate over the wall. We have Sejani, so he won't engage. Don't have the ultimate up quite yet. Oh, that's pretty nice. We almost got three kills with a single ultimate. But we will take that. We're also getting the tower now. But this is where Sarath become really fun to play, is when the mid-game teamfight starts. Because you can just poke people when they can't even see you on the screen. You have so much damage that if you hit an ADC with a full combo, then they're gonna straight up die. Barrows really needs to buy this item here, cause they have so much shielding. It's really really good against shieldbow guys, so if you play against, you know, Yasu Yone, on ADC with shield bow, then buy the Serpent's Fang if you're playing an assassin or the user. It also works against Nautilus because he also has a shield on his W, so it's actually super cost efficient this game. Yeah, now is the point when we start having 
Oh, nice. You see, we have we start having a lot of damage right now. This is where Serath really starts shining, and it only gets better from here. Especially once you have the rabbit on Stealth Cap, guys, then it's gonna be so fun. That's like half a HP, just a single Q, guys. Because AD carries don't buy magic resistance this early on in the game, and even if they do, they're gonna lose a lot of damage. So you have such a big advantage if you go even or if you're fed uh, at this stage of the game. Alright, we got the shield bow out, so that's worth it. We only have a bit more than a minute on the ultimate, so it's super fine. We're doing the Baron right now, so I'm just gonna make sure that Phil sticks. Oh, there he is. Make sure he doesn't steal it. Really nice ultimate by Sejuani once again. That's gonna be a super safe Baron for us. Now we got the Baron, that is awesome. That is insane damage. That is more than half a HP just from a single Q. We're also sitting on a lot of gold guys, so we can also just uh, back off right now if we want to. The dragon spawns in a minute and that is going to be the soul. Now we also have the horizon focus, so that's going to increase our damage by a lot as well. Now we can just get the raptor's death cap or a white stuff depending on what they build. So they don't really have any MR right now, so we can just go straight for the raptor's death cap. I have the ultimate up so I can help out if needed. Nice. Pretty flash for flash. They are dying mid side. They should have waited for us though because um, me and Sejani are the fit guys. I'm just gonna clear out the wave. And I hit level 6 in the middle of my ultimate, I think. Because I cleared out the wave. He sealed this down. He already lost a lot of HP because that also went through his shield. Oh, that's a teleport coming in. I'm just gonna stay back guys, always stay in the back line. Just want to stay super far back when you play Sarath. I need the blue buff guys. Oh, it's going to reset. Just stay still. Nice. I hate when it resets because uh, when it keeps switching aggro then just gonna reset at some point. We got the soul now, that's also a really nice shield. And Wukong went down once again. Nice, alright. Little 16 ultimate, enough to take down an AD carry.
Don't really get to use that teleport much in a mid game. I mostly pick it for the landing phase because you never want to be in the sideline anyway when you play Sarath. You're just immobile, so the only thing you can do is you just pick up the waves and then you group. If you uh, try to compete, I guess Yasuo in the sideline, he's just gonna destroy you straight up. So you just want to group most of the time. Try to poke people out with the ultimate or long range abilities. And then you can start a fight. We do have the ultimate up, so if a fight starts, then we can help out all the way from here. I'm gonna recall now, get another large rod. They don't have any MR. There we go, another 60 AP. So we're almost sitting at 400 AP right now. That's actually pretty low for this meta. Mages don't really get that much AP anymore, so that's a bit unfortunate, but if we get to late game anyway, then it doesn't matter, because when we have the Ravenous Death Cap, then we're still going to have insane amount of damage. Yeah, he's waiting in the brush, always watch out for the Phil Sticks ultimate. He has one of the best team fighting ultimates. I'm just gonna stay back. Nice. And the FF, so that was the video. I hope this was helpful. As always, see you guys in the next one.